Alright, the first thing we want to do is go to the Microsoft Azure website here. Um, this is just our azure.microsoft.com and it should take you to the homepage right here. Now we then need to log in, so we'll just click on the sign in button up here or and then you can choose if you want to log in with an existing account or create a new Microsoft account. Um, if you have a Microsoft account, just log in with that as any sort of Microsoft account will work. So I'll just log in. So Microsoft Azure is a cloud computing service uh, provided to us by Microsoft. It has many different apps and functions that we can use inside of our applications. For us specifically though, we're going to be using the computer vision and the text-to-speech services. These are part of the cognitive services pack. So we can go here up to products and inside here we can then click on where we see AI and machine learning and cognitive services. Now cognitive services are basically machine learning sort of APIs and SDKs we can connect to. If we scroll down we can see a bunch of the different ones here. We have vision which is the one we're going to be connecting to to um, we'll send over an image to the API and then it will analyze the text and return that to us. Um, we also have the speech here. There's also many other um, smaller functions inside each of these large categories. So what we're going to do now is actually sign up for Azure and make it so that we can start uh, creating some of these resources. Now what we can do is we can then click on the portal button up here. This will take us to our portal which basically just has a list of all our different resources, all the ones we can make and allows us to manage those resources and our apps. So we'll click on the portal button here. Okay, when we're at the portal now, um, what we want to do is first of all click on the create a resource button here because what we need to do is actually set up our free account that will allow us to use these resources. So. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you click on, we'll just click on the Windows Server 2016. We're not going to get this, but it will require us to create a free account. And this is what we'll need to be able to actually use and create resources. Now with the free account, you may see here that you may see at the $200 price mark, but that just means we get $200 credit for 30 days. And this is basically like a free trial. Um, you will need to sign up with your... Uh, credit card and phone number but you won't be charged unless you go past 30 days or you choose one of the actual uh, pricing tiers when we create a resource. So we can just click on the start free button here and then we'll take us this page here we can click on start free again and then you just want to go through and fill out all of this information here. It'll ask you to just enter in your name, your phone number, um, you don't have to enter in your ABN, um, you'll then have to verify by adding in your uh, credit card or bank card or debit card. Um, it won't do any charges, I'm fairly certain, but it's just there to verify you. And if you do want to then sign up further, you can then just do it much quicker then. All right, so when that's complete, uh, you should be taken back to this page now. Um, it shouldn't look too different, but what we can do now is start creating resources. And that is what we're going to be doing in the next video. You might also see up here that it says uh, you got your free trial and it has remaining credit, so you know that you are in the free trial. And yeah, then we're all good to go. So I'll see you next lesson where we'll start creating our actual uh, computer vision resource.